Hey everyone, recognize this breed? That's the one I want to talk to you about today. And these are the Hovavards. Hovavards are typical with their big smiles and their big ears. Hovavards are very sociable. Uh, usually their owners praise them for being very easygoing and loving their families. And they will perfectly adjust to your lifestyle. If you want to train obedience three times per week, no problem. You'll get some excited tail waggles. And if you want or need to take a break from training because you are injured or something, you'll get a couch potato and endless snuggles. I have seen Hovavards do all kinds of dog sports, not only obedience. Uh, they can do agility, they can do canny cross. They usually don't like to do protection or that's rather rather rare. Uh, they are certainly more lovers than warriors, as you can see here. Where they, where they excel is scent work. They really love to do trekking or nose work or something like that, and their noses are, are really something. One thing you have to keep in mind is that Hovavards have been bred for guarding. They have been bred to, to guard, uh, and the name of the breed uh, means literally to, to guard a yard or a garden. When you are raising a Hovavard puppy, you have to mitigate this, because if you don't, you could have some unwanted behaviors like guarding the food bowl or, or, or guarding the car or something like then that. Then training with Hovavards, you have to keep in mind these are not German Shepherds. So if you try to pressure them into anything or drill them, it won't work. They can be very headstrong and they can be also very thoughtful, so they will only work if they consider it important or meaningful and they have to see some kind of benefit in the training for them. And if you do it right, uh, you will have some great obedience routines with them. Uh, you just have to keep in mind that uh, sometimes they take longer to learn something and uh, when you teach it to them, they won't forget. So one thing you have to look out for is to not make mistakes. Once he learns it, he won't want to stop doing it. I really love uh, working with Hovavards uh, because if they have a good handler, someone who can accept their quirks and can accept their temperament, uh, they can work beautifully together and, and they can create a really joyful uh, and nice obedience routine. So if you have a Hovavard and you haven't tried obedience yet, I strongly urge you to do it. Uh, you can be sure these guys will enjoy it with you. Good luck.